Jenny was ahead of the man in black, for now. There was still the matter of breaking her mum out of jail and escaping without being caught. Being careful not to make a sound, Jenny stepped cautiously into the dark space below. Stay alive. This isn't a tunnel. It's like a creepier version of Dr. Benderson's office. Less natural light, same terrible music. giant metal door stood conspicuously in the middle of the room. It must lead to the jail. A perfectly reasonable assumption. There was just one problem. How do I open it? Jenny knocked on the door. Based on the resonance, and the fact that my hand hurts like hell, I'd say this door is solid steel and at least four inches thick. No handle, and no keyhole. Whoever built this door wanted to keep people out, or in, depending on which side you're on. Another animal. This one's a fox. Could this have something to do with Professor Zazer's experiments or the Council of Three? Blast proof. So the explosives are useless. Pick this? It's some kind of slot. Is something missing? Jenny came to a distressing yet inevitable conclusion. I can't open it. I'm stuck. Of course it's a giant metal door that's impossible to open. Why wouldn't there be? It would be easy to feel defeated, but this was Jenny the Clue, a great detective. And as her mother always said, A great detective sees every locked door as an opportunity. Yes, an opportunity for an elaborate puzzle and lateral thinking. Someone works here. Or at least they did. Judging by the dead plant and dusty typewriter, no one's been here for a while. To a detective, rummaging through a trash can was like opening a treasure chest. Just with more gum and cigarette butts. Gross. My initial assessment? Looks like a lot of... trash. A rotten sandwich, napkins, belly button lint. Wait a second. There's a note here that's been torn up. Could be a clue. Oh, I hate putting together the notes. Easy. They should have used a shredder. Dear Trudy, sorry to hear that you are having more trouble with the machine. Someone will be out to take a look at it on Monday. Sincerely, John J. Exor.
In the meantime, use this. Please don't pass us around, John. I know a secret code when I see one. This could be useful. It was always a good idea to put your hand <laughs> between the crusty crevices of a sofa cushion. All kinds of exotic things could be found. What's this? Detectiving was hungry work, and Jenny couldn't remember the last time she'd eaten anything. What I really want is a hot coffee. So she perused the selection on offer. The key. Open the door to yum. These candy names are getting ridiculous. Bunch o' nuts. Gross. I hate peanut butter. There's gotta be something better than this. Big crunch. Hey, peanut butter. Fight hunger with a punch. I've had one of these before. Tastes like cardboard. Kiss of death. Well, at least they're honest. What kind of vending machine doesn't serve coffee? Jenny found it hard to focus without her usual evening brew. Perhaps a nice bar of chocolate would help. This is a waste of time. How's a chocolate bar going to help me open that door? And that's when it hit her. The key. Open the door to yum? Surely a humorous but irrelevant tagline. It's the perfect shape to fit in the slot on the door. A mere coincidence. It's literally a key to the door. It'd be a rather strange place to hide a key. Stranger than a waiting room beneath the graveyard? That's my ticket out of here. B31. Got it. Oh, the nickel. I don't have any change. It's an old dirty mop. It's an old dirty mop. I don't have any change.
output machine. Give me the key. It's no good. It's stuck. How can I get the key out? It's leaning forward against the glass. It's an old dirty mop. That's why it's stuck. The machine has one short leg, making it lean forward and to the right. If I tilt the machine to the left, I should be able to get the key out. But Jenny wasn't strong enough to lift a vending machine by herself. I'm going to need some leverage. Of course! I can use the mop to tilt the machine. <laughs> 